The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says that about 1,854,859 permanent voters' cards have been printed and are ready for collection. The INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, made this known in Abuja while unveiling the new permanent voters' cards, saying about 45% of the cards nationwide have been found to be fake. Professor Yakubo, while calling on Nigerians to come retrieve their cards, says that the commission has delisted the fake entries from its National Voters Register. During the period from June to December 2021, millions of Nigerians commenced their registration online and thereafter scheduled appointments to conclude the process physically. Millions more visited our state and local government offices to register in person without the option of going through the online procedure. For the pre-registration option, 1,014,382 registrants completed the process, while 1,509,076 Nigerians registered in person at our designated registration centers nationwide. Furthermore, 671,106 Nigerians submitted requests to update their records, transfer their registration from where they are currently registered to other locations, or the replacement of their lost or damaged PVCs. The cleaning up of the register. While the number of new registrants is very impressive and demonstrates the eagerness of Nigerians to vote in the forthcoming elections, the Commission has a duty to clean up the register to ensure that only eligible Nigerians are added to the existing register. As we are aware, the foundation for any credible election rests on the credibility of the register of voters. The introduction of the biometric registration of voters in 2011 has helped to sanitize the register. You may recall that initially, 73,528,040 Nigerians were registered in 2011. Using the automated fingerprint identification system, AFIS, the Commission was able to remove 4,239,000 923 invalid registrations. Consequently, the register of voters for the 2015 general election stood at 69,288,117 voters. Subsequently, 432,173 new voters were added to the register during the severe exercises ahead of the off-cycle governorship elections in five states, Bielsa, Kogi, Edo, Ondo, and Anambra, from late 2015 to early 2017, bringing the total number of registered voters in Nigeria to 69,720,350. The troubling issue of invalid registration still persists, which we detected while cleaning up the latest registration data. As against the AFIS used in previous exercise, the Commission introduced the automated biometric identification system, the ABIS, which is a more comprehensive and robust system involving not just fingerprint identification, but also facial biometric recognition. Sadly, it seemed that many registrants, either out of ignorance that they do not need to re-register if they have done so before, or a belief that our systems will not detect this infraction, have gone out to register again. This is despite repeated warnings by the Commission against this illegal action. In addition, there are also registrants whose data were incomplete and did not meet our business rules for inclusion in the register. Both categories, that is the failure of ABIS and incomplete data, constitute invalid registrations. 
Presently, nearly 45% of the completed registrations nationwide are invalid, rising to as high as 60% or more in some states. This infraction happened in all states of the Federation. No state is immune from it. These invalid registrations will not be included in the register of voters. In our commitment to transparency, the distribution of the registration figures, including the percentages of valid and invalid registrations on state-by-state -state basis, will be made available to you at this press conference. The same information will be uploaded on the Commission's website and social media platforms immediately. This development is worrisome because of the time and resources expended in handling these cases. Even more disturbing are the strong indications that some of our staff may be complicit in facilitating these infractions, notwithstanding the stern warnings. Consequently, the Commission is reviewing reports on such staff and has commenced a detailed investigation which may include the prosecution of those found culpable. Specific registrants associated with these infractions by our staff may also face prosecution in line with sections 22 and 23 of the Electoral Act 2022. I wish to seize this opportunity to request political parties, the media, civil society organizations, and the general public to assist the Commission in educating Nigerians about the problem of invalid registration. As we have repeatedly explained, if you have at any time in the past registered to vote, you do not have to re-register. If you have registered in the past, you should not get involved in the CBR again, unless you have had problems with your PVC or fingerprint recognition during accreditation in any previous election. In that case, all you need to do is to revalidate your registration by visiting a designated registration center to recapture your fingerprints and picture. Other registered persons who may also get involved in the CVR are those whose PVCs are missing or defaced, those whose details need correction, and those seeking to transfer from their current places of voting to other locations. These cases, do not involve new registration. Apart from this, the CBR is essentially for Nigerians who have attained the age of 18 years and have not registered earlier. With our improved systems using the ABs, the Commission shall continue to clean up the register to eliminate invalid registration and to ensure that only those who should be in the register of voters are included. 854,859 PVCs are now ready. They will be delivered to our state offices across the country over the Easter holiday. They will be available for collection by the actual owners in person after the holiday. No PVC will be collected by proxy. I must reiterate that the available cards only cover those who registered in the first and second quarters of the exercise. The Commission wishes to assure those who registered between January and March this year, as well as those who are doing so right now, that their PVCs will be ready for collection long before the 2023 general election. I would like to appeal to all Nigerians who registered between June and December 2021 to collect their PVCs in person. As we devolve the voter registration beyond our state and local government offices nationwide, the PVCs will also be available as such designated centers in our effort to make the collection easier for voters. In addition, we will also contact the 1.8 million registrants by email and text messages on the availability of their cards and the places to collect them. I won't be tired of appealing to the media, civil society organizations, political parties and others 
not to leave this issue of voter registration and the administration of elections to the Electoral Commission alone. We simply can't do it alone. We need the support and cooperation of all Nigerians. There is one thing I promise you. This commission will never hide anything, anything from Nigerians. We'll always be upfront and transparent in dealing with the issues of our election. 